Hey there, YouTube land. Big Dave here. So I hope everybody's having a great week and uh, that your Sunday is good so far. Um, I'd like to talk a little bit today about what happens when things don't exactly work right. So to start, um, I'm just going to take some minor seven patterns um, and some other stuff and just, you know, uh, just try to articulate through them. All right, so it's a bunch of slop stuff, right? But here's the thing. Right now, <clears throat> today's a weird day. We just had a change in the weather. So all of a sudden, we have a cold front comes through. Um... We had a lot of rain last night. Some people had snow. And what happens is, sometimes it affects everything. The way your horn plays and, and the way your reeds play and everything else. Um, now, synthetic reeds, that's another way to get kind of around it, you know. But I, I'm not really into synthetic reeds, so I use wood reeds. But um, sometimes you need to rebalance things. So here's what this is, is a really basic setup. T75, 3ZZ Jazz. Um, just basic middle of the road, out of the box, you know, nothing fancy here. Um, I'm going to go to a T35, and uh, this is a three uh, blue box Van Dorn. Now, this is more of a setup I would use for classical, and it's also a larger bore mouthpiece. It even fits on the cork looser. So right off the bat, and I didn't, I didn't really warm up too much or practice this morning much of anything. You know, I'm just kind of um, zipping my way through these things. I'm just trying to check a couple things out. But right off the bat, um, this mouthpiece with the three purple box. And uh, this is a little closer mount piece, right? The T75 is a 105, and it has a smaller inside. Um, this is, you know, you can even see kind of like, as you look through it, it condenses itself up in the top. If I take this one off, this is pretty big. And then there's a ring up at the top. That's where your air speeds up. Well, some people don't call it speeding up. <laughs> but, uh... You know, it's a round chamber, and it has no baffle. Um, this has a baffle, and the throat is open. See, it's different. These are two different mouthpieces. All right? This one is a round chamber mouthpiece. It's more of a classical mouthpiece. And uh, this one has more of a baffle, but then the throat opens up more. So it's like, it's like the opposite, um, but yet it's different. And yet the, yet the T75 is really a higher baffle, smaller chamber kind of piece. But the throat is big. You know, it's kind of an oxymoron. Would that be it? Yeah, you know, but this is a true round chamber design. This is totally different. But yet, you see the ring in there. It's quite obvious because otherwise, if it was all opened up so big, you would have a really hard time uh, making a good sound. And... Um, this is another option here. This is <clears throat> my uh, fill tone, which I use a lot. It's a uh, 105 also. And it's a seven star. And this is a three light Rigatti. I could put one of the, I could put the three ZZ Jazz on here too. It's going to make more of a brittle sound though. <laughs> Now, see, this is really fast with this particular read on it. This, this is, it just speaks really fast. Everything comes out. Um, and it's, you know, a little more souped up, too. But it's still more like uh, a rubber auto link. There's no big baffle or anything in here, you know. Um, but it is handmade. So that's a little bit of a difference. And I'm using an Ishimori ligature. So it's, it's a little bit faster. 
But I'll take this other reed off just so you can see the difference. This is the ZZ Jazz. And, and realize one thing here while I'm going through this process. I'm just kind of, you know, like, I'm really just um, noodling around here. I'm using those minor seven patterns just to see where I'm at as far as how this wants to play for me if I was to push it ahead a little bit, you know, and um, see what it does. So here I'm going to just put the three ZZ Jazz on here, which I know will play, but it's going to be a little bit different. See, it slows you down. It just slows the process down. It's the same kind of thing. You know, I'm not really doing anything much different, but it just it it, it has a different um, it has a different blow to it. You know, when you blow into it, it changes the the process. Um, now, if I was to use this same read on the T75, you're going to hear what's going to happen. It's going to get really bright. This is the reg uh, no, this is the um, I'm sorry. I'm going to put the Rigatti on the T75. I'm not going to switch up anything on the T35 because it's already down like a whole two size mouthpieces. It's it's a 90 and it really needs the three purple box. Um, sometimes in the summer I could use a two and a half on there. You know, but let's just put this on. Here's the Rigatti on the T75. You're going to see what happens here. Uh, this will be another. All right, so it's not bad. It's not, it's really not bad. Um, but the three ZZ Jazz, for what I was doing to see if it's going to go through the arpeggiated patterns, makes a difference on the T75 here. Let's just see what happens here. So this is the, um, this is the three ZZ Jazz. See, it's a, it's got, it's just, it slows you down. You know, the Rigatti was a little better, but it was kind of brittle, but it was more immediate on this particular setup. And you can hear like some of the tones are um, a little bit on the, uh, you know, they're a little weird in some ways. But if I put the Rigatti on, which I'm going to do just for the comparison. I just don't like this, you know, even though it's, it just doesn't do anything for me, you know, it's weird, so if I put it back originally, I put the Rigatti back on the fill tone, just for, um, just for the experiment here, you know. So this automatically it just lets me do so much more um, than the way the other stuff is. However, my more classical setup, which is this uh, T35 with the three purple box, you know. This is, is nice. I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. And it, and it works, and it gives me an option for, you know, like a day like today where stuff is a little weird. This is too much. You know, you can hear the, the difference, how much brighter this is. So 
it's a different kind of a, a vibe, you know? And uh, I'm just uh, watching the time here because they're going to shut me off. You know what happens if you hit 15 minutes. So, But I'm not going to get that far. But just for the sake of it, we'll go back to ground, the starting ground. This is the uh, 3 ZZ Jazz on the T75. And this is like middle of the road, right out of the box. Not bad, you know. And what happens, just one last thing. Let's take this ligature off, right? Let's just see what happens. Because sometimes I use one ligature or the other. And, the, and really the ligature, the main thing the ligature does is it holds the reed in place, but it allows it to vibrate differently. So here, I didn't do anything but change the ligature. It's a different vibe, you know? Um, and just by changing the ligature, it got the reed to blow a little bit freer, you know? All right, well, anyway. Um, so this was a, one of these feudal experiments just to see whatever is going on today with this change in the atmosphere. And um, I just figured I would do it here. But I carry all this stuff with me anyway. It's in this red bag. You know, I keep um, the two other extra mount pieces, and I carry these these reeds with me. You know, three um, ZZ Jazz, three Purple Box, and the Rigotti three Light. And uh, you know, I can interchange. Really, the sometimes I do use a three Purple Box even on that fill tone. It de it depends on what's happening. You know. All right. Happy Sunday. Have a good day.